All right, you guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome to the channel today. So it's February 20th, 2023. This is the calm before the biggest storm I've ever experienced in Big Bear. This could be something unbelievable, you guys. So uh, let's just, let's get ready for it and let's get excited about it because it's gonna be pretty darn awesome. Um, yeah, guys, I just want you to see what the town looks like before all the craziness starts to happen. Um, starts, it's gonna begin tomorrow night, you guys. Uh, we, if everything pans out, we could get four to six feet of snow when, the, when everything's said and done. So I'll believe it when I see it. But also we're trying something new, as you guys can see. Uh, there's, I'm, I have a camera on the GPS system to keep it doing that the whole time as well. So you guys can see where we're at. And uh, yeah, looking, looking forward to, uh, to see how that works out. I, I learned how to do picture in picture today, but let's get to the weather right away, guys. Pretty incredible stuff. So starting tomorrow night, we have maybe one to three inches of snow. And then Wednesday morning, maybe an inch or two, but then Wednesday night, that's when the big stuff comes in. Five plus inches of snow. Then Thursday, during the day, we could get like a foot of snow. Thursday night, we could get another foot of snow. Friday morning, we could get another foot of snow. Friday night, we could get another foot of snow. A little bit more on Saturday, and then we, we get a one day break, you guys. And then we have three or four more days of on and off snow after that as well. So it's gonna be pretty incredible. Um, I, I really can't believe what's actually happening. It's just, it's mind boggling to me. Super excited, super, super excited. But yeah, so hope you guys are doing great. It's good to hear from all of you. I've been getting a lot of questions about the storm. I'm really excited to be able to help you the best that I can. Um, I want you guys to have the greatest experience possible. And if I'm able to help, that's what makes me happy. Helping you guys is everything to me. So. Thank you guys for giving me that chance to help you guys out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a drive around the lake, just so you guys can once in a while just see what's going on in the main parts of our town. Um, see how little snow is in certain areas. Some areas have none left. Some areas still have a little bit left. But we're doing the typical drive through the village to get to where we need to go. I wish there was a way that I could, maybe would it say like what, oh yeah, there we go. On the top, it says village drive. So we'll make the GPS screen smaller so we can see what street we are on. I'm excited about that. I hope I can do this properly, you guys. I hope I don't screw it up like I screw everything else up. But yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, just, just look, look at the village, there's no snow. There's nothing. Nada, not a lot of brada. I was hoping there'd be an easier way to do the GPS thing, like where I can just kind of record it through my screen on in, in the car, but I mean, I have a hard time just counting to five without using my fingers, so it's not easy. <laughs> You guys, a lot of snow is coming. What is going on here? I mean, this is cra this is crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, so we're gonna take the tour around the lake uh, the way that we would coming into town. Super excited, super, super excited. I'm really hoping the video's working out the way that we want here. Looks like the GPS is one second ahead, but that's okay. It'll be close enough so you guys will know exactly where we're at. One second's not going to be a huge deal. But can you guys believe this? Look at me stepping up my game for you guys. You guys are worth it. You guys are worth the freaking effort. And I, I do so much other work. I have a regular job, guys, where I work 60 hours a week. So just keep keep in mind this is this is adding a whole bunch of of extra extra work but for you guys it's not work it's just straight up love. But yeah, take a look at the town now guys because it's going to be way freaking different in a by the end of the week. It's going to be way different. Go back to some of my other videos that show like 3 feet of snow in town and this could dwarf that you guys. I mean dwarf it. 
I'm just, I'm shocked. I, I really am shocked. What I'm looking forward to though is that most of, a lot of the storm is gonna be hitting during the week, so there's not gonna be a whole bunch of traffic up here. So those of you who wanna get up here and, and, and get to doing what you wanna do, get up here. Because get up here during the week. I don't want you guys to have to deal with the crowds on the weekend. And as I say always, any questions that you guys have for me, do not hesitate. I am here for you guys. I want you guys to have the best possible time you can. So let me, let me check this out real quickly. And also, I wanted to mention that DA Snowboarder gave me a $25 Venmo donation. Thank you, DA, my bro. Thank you again. DA has hooked it up in the past. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And the reason I'm mentioning these in these videos now is because I got a lot of feedback from a lot of you that say that the overwhelming amount of, not overwhelming, but all the other Venmo and Cash App videos that I do, um, they like them that I thank everyone personally like like that, but they it, it was kind of getting a little bit annoying to constantly in between our snowstorm videos be getting like five or six donation videos. It just means a lot to me to thank you guys for what you guys do for me because it's 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 amazing. It's truly amazing. So thank you, um, and I always want to thank you guys. So DA snowboarder, thanking you right here, my bro. I'm excited to do that. Need to put this up here and maybe bring the camera back because it's getting a little hot but yeah guys there's hardly any any snow left anywhere in this town some parts of town still do have a little bit of snow but it's usually the spots that don't get a lot of direct sunlight and, and obviously the higher in elevation you go like like upper moon ridge you'll, you'll get more snow for sure but it's it's still pretty pretty much plain jane um the ski resorts though i don't want you guys to worry not seeing any snow for instance if someone's coming up tomorrow before the storm hits to go skiing don't think that because you're not seeing much here that it's going to be horrible on on the slopes it's not it'll be great on the slopes for you guys you guys will really dig it um, because they're really good at making snow and keeping everybody uh safe and happy with all the extra snow because the extra snow when you fall it doesn't hurt as bad especially snowboarders out there the few times i snowboarded it's it sucked because when you fall you either fall flat on your face or flat on the back of your head <laughs> so it's like pick your poison eh but yeah um regarding this this video i might not go all the way around the lake but i kind of want to we'll make the decision when we get to stanfield cutoff that's what we shall do but yeah, hope everything's going good for you guys. Um, some other cool news is that down in Ukaipa, guys, that's the that's the bottom of the mountain. It's, it's, it's not even on the mountain. It's at the bottom um, when you leave the mountain. They're supposed to get possibly 6 to 12 inches of snow as well. Uh, Redlands area, uh, it did say 1 to 3 inches from Thursday to Friday night, but that might not happen anymore. It might just be cut out of the snow. But that would be awesome. San Bernardino was had the same forecast. They could get a little bit of snow. Um, it's this is just something super crazy, guys. Super super crazy. It's got to do with the polar vortex over the Arctic. Um, basically, in the stratosphere, we're in the troposphere, right? So in the stratosphere, we don't feel any of that weather because that's like I think close to where our like like right below where our satellites and stuff are up in space and there's like a huge 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 warm air mass that is just grinding down up there and it's it's sinking down into the arctic area and it's pushing all that arctic air a lot further south and a lot further west than it usually does um so not just the midwest and the east coast will be hit hard by the polar vortex but southern california so this is this is something 
not uh, not something that happens often. This is extremely rare. So let's just, uh, yeah, it's exciting, you guys. I'm super excited about it. Once again, though, we got to play it by ear. And uh, as you guys know, it's been, I think, 99 to 100% wrong this season when it comes to uh, the weather predictions. I think it's been 100% off. I don't think we've had one little bit of moisture this season that that has actually happened the way that they predicted to happen so let's 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 see what happens yeah guys we are going to go around the lake it's going to be a good test of the gps thing too i'm hoping the camera angle and the picture and everything looks good for you guys, I, I really do. I really want to do this so well for you guys. As I said, it's going to take me a lot more time to do editing and stuff like that. But in my first eight years plus of doing these these videos, I haven't really done any editing. <laughs> so, ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Alright, here's the lake. And by the way, I'm using my 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 other iphone it's a, a much better so the iphone i was using for these videos i thought was my 12 pro but no i was using my 11 pro max now i opened my 12 pro which has been sitting in the box for like a year and a half because uh, when i had a couple extra bucks i was buying these to save them so when i i needed money it was like gold for me even though i would take a decent loss but it was still in in the box and um, it's got Apple Care and all of that good stuff, but we're using a much better camera now. Um, so I'm excited to see. I'm using the 11 Plus Pro right here for the GPS to see see how that works out for us. And then I did have a camera up here that was recording me because I was going to put some video of me, um, you know, and uh, just so you guys could see me a little bit get my dorky face on here but yeah we are going to go left here unfortunately there's a lot of people going left here we're not going to be able to get through where we need to get through in a timely fashion unfortunately but we are going to get some spectaculoso views like this over here through the trees And happy President's Day to everyone. Once again, I'm super grateful for all of you. I'm super grateful to have each and every single one of you in my life. All the comments, all the love, all the support is tremendous for me. And that's why I'm stepping up my game for you guys. The real reason that I haven't been doing this stuff or learned it sooner, guys, is because it was super intimidating because I'm not technologically sound. And also, because of my other full-time job, it's really, really, really difficult and time-consuming. Time um, yeah, so that's that. But I also want you guys to know, during the storms, I'm going to do a lot more live feeds for this storm so you guys can get the literal, like, uh, the live information. I don't want you guys to have to wait. That's another reason why I switched to the 12 Pro, because I was using my iPhone 8 to do my like that's the phone that I use for my regular phone calls and um, and my live feeds but we're gonna use this phone I'm using right now to do the uh, the live feeds so it should be better better picture quality at least I'm hoping so we shall see So you can see over here on the North Shore, there's no snow anywhere. I mean, you can see little patches, but look, that's that's where it's really shady. And that's from the snow plows. So that's just like built up ice over time from the snow plows. But look over here, there's just nothing. Once again, in the upper Moon Ridge, mid, 
mid Moon Ridge, there's there's still areas where you could, you know, I, I mean, it, it would be horrible, but to, to try to build snowmen or something like that, but it just wouldn't be um, anything special. And the snow would be horrible. Look at this guy up here. He's on a one wheel motorized vehicle. I think that's so cool, but at the same time, so stupid. Because if you pop a tire or if, if you hit a bump or like something, like how do you maintain? Just not, doesn't seem like something I would do. Look, see, you can see some patches of snow through here, but we're about to come into fawn skin, you guys. And over by the eagle habitat, that's where we should see a little bit more snow. But uh, yeah, this is literally gonna be the first February since I've lived here where the snow is gonna be as epic as it's supposed to be. February and March are typically the snowiest months in the Big Bear region, in our national forest here. call real quick. Hang on, guys. Okay. Okie dokie, artichokies. Alright. the phone for the camera or for the GPS is staying in place but yeah guys usually this part of town has a lot of snow also because it, uh, it's kind of close to the hillside and we're getting closer to the Big Bear Dam as well this is a good good part of town for snowfall but right now as you can see we're we're very limited at the moment as I said that doesn't mean that there aren't parts of town where there's still some okay snow like okay snow amounts the snow is probably horrible as I said really icy but it is what it is. And uh, just be patient, you guys. We got something special coming. I got me my new windshield wiper fluid, the type that's for below freezing. So we can use it during our, our, our videos, thank goodness. All right, we're in downtown Fonskin, y'all. You don't want to speed like this guy's doing through here. You want to go the speed limit. You, you you don't want to speed anywhere up here, you guys, but especially through the little towns, not a, not a smart idea. Right, so we're coming up to the eagle habitat y'all it'll be on the right hand side I think I know which tree it is now So we're at the eagle habitat, you guys. Closed eagle habitat area, closed eagle habitat area. As you can see, there is more snow over here. 
definitely more snow over here but once again guys this is not good snow this is it's gonna be icy or or the opposite super slushy and just old snow nothing on the special side but this view is certainly special this camera I can tell is already way better than the 11 Pro Plus I have three cameras in here going, three iPhone cameras going right now. Or two of them, because I took the face from them. Can't miss these, these little cutouts of the lake in between the houses. It's so pretty. But guys, this, this town is going to look crazy by next weekend. This is going to be insane. We're, we're, like, we're, like, when we take this drive right now, we're not going to be able to see, see the lake because the snow berms on either side are going to be so ridiculously high. But once again, I'm excited about the fact that a lot of people are not going to want to drive in that type of, of weather, which will be perfect for us to get out here and show you guys what's up. Chokey. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I do. It's just how beautiful is it today. This really is the calm before the storm, you guys. And uh, as I said, the storm's not supposed to hit till tomorrow night. I'm going to start the time lapse tomorrow during the day so we can warm up to the snow. This is going to be the best time lapse I've ever done by far. Something exciting, guys. I also found out how to edit my voice out of certain videos and stuff, so when we put up the GPS, you're not gonna hear me talking twice. This is gonna be so cool. I really hope it turns out great for you guys. I really hope it turns out great for you guys. So please guys, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. I'm always here for you all. I'm always here for you all. And I've been getting educated by a lot of you who know a lot about weather, meteorology, and I love learning from you guys. Also, those of you still watching, um, during one of the live feeds I'm gonna talk about, or maybe a not, not a live feed, maybe I'll do a short to talk about how I'm, it, on, on, on one of the snowy videos, if we get 1,500 likes, I'll give away a $200 gift card. I think that would be awesome. Hang tight, guys. 
Okay, so I thought we would zoom in a little bit more on this one. Maybe help us out a little bit there so you guys can see more. Here's Snow Valley Ski Resort right over there. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, here we go. Here we go, folks. All right. So this is the way that you guys come into town typically. Look, see, you, you can see a good amount of snow, but when I say there's there's no snow, that's in, in town and places that you guys will be spending time. There's just hardly any snow in town. But once again, if you guys come up before the storm and leave before, well, before the storm even, even begins, then like Upper Moon Ridge will be your best bet to actually see some still decent amounts of snow. Obviously, you can see a decent amount here on the right-hand side, but this isn't what you guys are looking for, I promise you that. here but yeah guys we haven't even been issued a winter storm warning yet but as I said I'm predicting at points of this storm we'll have our first blizzard warning of the season issued it only makes sense because of the winds that are supposed to howl during the first major portion of this storm I don't see how we won't get a blizzard here for some of the storm. Guys, this is so awesome. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna take my car in for its first service, make sure we're totally good to go for the snow event. I have to go really early though because I work at, at, at 10 a.m. and because I'm a walk-in, I know it's not gonna be done by 10. And it'll like I, I'm gonna take my car in at 7:30 right when they open, and it's probably gonna take them till noon. I'm I'm thinking. But yeah, these huge piles you see here that that's from the snow plows, you guys. I give you guys <laughs> the real honest information. Of course, we're a tourist town, and so, you know, some of the the, the media for tourist areas kind of use a little bit added hyperbole and exaggeration because they want people to come up here. I want you guys to come up here. I just don't want you guys wasting your, your money and your time. I want you to, to come up here when it's gonna be worth it. Those of you who get to come up here, uh, for Tuesday and stay through the whole storm. You guys are so lucky. As I said, this is gonna be the biggest event we've had since I've lived here. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's Boulder Bay right here. It's a bit icy. For some reason they've had this parking lot closed for the longest time and I don't I don't know why. Look at this. This this parking lot has been shut down. 
doesn't make any sense to me because it's already impossible to park when we have a, a, a bunch of you guys up here and it just makes it more difficult for you guys. This is where they're all parking, you can tell. Alright, if you turn left here, you would go into the neighborhood of Boulder Bay. But we are not turning left there. We are headed straight ahead. It smells so good out here. It just smells like pine tree and firewood. Oh, it smells so good. This is exciting, you guys. When I used to come up here as a kid, the lake used to go up to that chain link fence right there. Isn't that incredible? It was so much higher. But after this storm, we've already had the lake rise just above three feet so far this season. Um, after this series of storms, I'm anticipating we it, it could end up rising another maybe eight to 12 inches. Because it's not gonna be that much precipitation, you guys. That's what a lot of people don't understand. It's because we're gonna be so much colder the colder you get, the, the more moisture you squeeze out of the squeeze out of the air and these storm systems. So it's going to be more of like a champagne powder type of a snow from what I'm I'm forecasting, kind of like Colorado type of snow. Um, in 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 Colorado, a, a lot of the really colder spots that get a lot of snow, out of one inch of of rain, they can squeeze out two feet plus of snow. The the, the average is usually one foot of snow per one inch of, of rain. But in the colder, drier climates like that, they can, they can squeeze out two plus feet in, in one inch of snow. So, But hey, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to get this video set up. Um, we are coming up to where we started the drive, so you guys don't need to be stuck in this traffic. Thank you guys for everything. If you guys enjoy what I'm doing, keep on watching because this is going to be sick. Um, please like and subscribe. I appreciate the help. I appreciate the support. Um, and I will chat with you guys later. Okay. Once again, it's February 20th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. Get ready for the snow. Love you guys. Bye.